Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with an exciting unboxing. If you follow the channel, you know that I've done something from this company before. I have here a canvas from Diamond Painting Shop, and I was really impressed with the first kit that I did, and I'm excited to get this one. So I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing that I did with the Oraloa unboxing. We'll be in here for a bit to kind of open it up and see what's what, and then we'll move to the table where I can kind of show you the whole canvas laid out, but we'll get there. So this is, like I said, a canvas from uh, the Diamond Painting Shop, and yeah, I'm excited, so let's dig in. So first of all, I get this little bag of goodies. So let's see what's in our bag of goodies. So we get a thank you card with a percentage off and all of their socials. So that's good. Two little things of Smarties. I'll be eating those later. Oh, we get two little things of washi tape and a couple of stickers. So we get this little diamond sticker. I'll probably add it to my collection and this looks like a Mooka painting. Not sure if it is or not, but it's that Art Nouveau style that I love so much. So, and two cute washi tape. Oh, it looks like little trees, how cute. And then polka dots, okay. So that's what came in the little goodie bag. So let me get all of that back in there so I don't lose it. And then we'll get into the actual box and see what's in there. So let me take off the plastic here and get it out of the way. It's kind of a big box. I don't want to bump anything. Okay. Now, excitingly, the, the first kit that I unboxed from them, I believe was the, it was a MUCA. Uh, su entitled Summer and I'll stick a link up there if you guys haven't seen the finish of that one. She turned out gorgeous but big. Um, however, when Diamond Painting Shop um, first opened they were supposed to be resin drills. Due to a mix-up with the manufacturer they were acrylic but this particular kit has her new resin drills, I'm told. So we'll be looking at those. Let me make sure I got everything out of the box here. Ooh, there's A, Bs in every kit, it says. Interesting, okay. Now, the lady that runs the place, Rosa, sent me a little letter to make sure I told you guys some stuff. So let me look at it and make sure I'm, I'm telling you what I need to tell you. Of course, it's all licensed um, diamond paintings poured glue it's the soft lint canvas so it's nice and soft i'll show you what we get but this um, particular one the zodiac one has resin drills so some of her older kits are still the acrylic um, but i think she's going to be getting more in that have the resin so this one and she's got another another one by muka that is going to have the resin drills and then she's got a couple of jasmine beckett griffith ones that are um, going to be resin drills as well okay let me get this started rolling here so i can run oh i'm already so excited this one is going to be so fun now it is big i won't lie so we've got 51 colors according to the schematic over here Oh, I love the schematic. This one is nice and big. I don't remember it being this big on the other one. Okay. Oh, somewhere in here I've lost my stickers. There we go. Okay. So since we're going to be venturing out to go see the canvas in the living room, I'm just going to lay it on the floor. But yeah. Okay. So stickers. So here you can see this is called Zodiac by Alphonse Mucco. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Now, I've seen, I think, Diamond Art Club has this one. I think Jaded Gem Shop has this one. But I don't think Diamond Art Club's is in stock. So if you wanted this one, this would be a good place to get it. So we've got, oh, 51 colors. I must have missed one. Did I say 51? And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. Cool. 
Now, these stickers are not pre-cut, but that's okay. They still give you the stickers with the symbol, so that's cool, and a big enough one here that I can use this one in my logbook. So you can see it's pretty large, 70 by 93. I did get the, it's a square one, and you've got all these fun AB drills. So some of these must be laser printed because they can, they feel kind of raised. So, and then little stickers that you could cut out if you want, but it is on sticker paper. So you can cut those out. Now the toolkit, let me lay this kind of across here so I can get it to uncurl a little bit. The toolkit, let's see what we get in the toolkit. Whoa. Okay, so you get standard white boat, two plates of the blue wax. We have a blue pen. We do get multi-placers with this. So you get, whoops, a four, what is that, a seven and a nine placer it looks like. So you get all those tips and then you get the super stabby tweezers. So nice little tool kit. You get all that back in there. And then of course we have all the drills. So I'm going to leave this in here for just a bit so it can kind of uncurl and we'll come back and look at the drills but first we're going to head out to the dining room and the big table where i can show you the actual campus because it's big guys be right back okay guys here we are out in the dining room so i can show you just how big this is like i said this one is 70 by 93 so darn near as big as my diana was so let's measure. So 70 centimeters. And then let me measure the other way. Turn here around here so I can do that. And then I need to measure her this way. So it is 70 by right at 93. So actual drill field size, 70 by 93. Uh, okay, so it has 50 colors, no, 51 colors. We do have a schematic on both sides, which is nice. I rotate my paintings around so much when I diamond paint that I always appreciate having the um, schematic on both sides uh somebody i think it's dreamer designs maybe or maybe it's heaven and earth or maybe it was diamond painting deutschland oh, gosh i don't know somebody once upon a time one is is right side up and the other one is upside down so if you rotate it like i do it looks the same from you can read it from either direction anyway i digress so yeah, I'm super excited about this one. So uh, let me check the corner here. Yeah, listen to that. Nice and sticky where you want it to be. And yeah, I'm excited about this one. I don't know, with that many ABs, how many did I say there were? One, two, three, four, five, six ABs. I don't know if I'll add in any additional ones, but yeah, just loving it. Let me let me start her a little bit closer so you can kind of see. Of course, it's that Art Nouveau style, so you've got all of this fanciful, you know, flowers and stuff on the edges. And then what are zodiac symbols behind her, uh, obviously, with the little zodiac. So you've got like I think that's Capricorn with the horns here. And then you've got the symbol for Capricorn. Um, this looks like Scorpio with the little scorpion and just all of the little zodiac symbols behind her. But then you've got her, this kind of classical like Greco-Roman nose and everything on her. But then you get this really kind of ornate headpiece right here with lots of detail in it really looking forward to, to working on her and seeing 
how the the shading of her skin and everything turns out because that can sometimes be hard to do on paintings this big even with like my diana if in in 250 plus colors it just feels like sometimes you don't have enough shades or the right shades so um yeah really anxious to see what the the rendering looks like now i think she did tell me that all of this stuff is all of her paintings are hand charted so should make the the painting actually itself go nice and easy and then you can see she's got kind of this stars everywhere and then she's got kind of this ornate necklace and of course her flowing hair you know that trademark swirls here and here of that art nouveau style and then down here there's like a little plate with another picture on it what is that a, um a woman and a man i'm looking in the camera to see because if i'm looking at it close up i can't quite tell what it is so and then you've got of course here's a moon on this side i'm gonna guess that's probably a sun or something over here and you just all of this kind of framing in between you know you've got this little kind of comma shape here and one on the other side and the whole framing that goes around her at the top yeah i'm super excited about this one i'm really curious too to see when i get to her face to see how her lips and her eye turns out when i did my diana from diamond painting deutschland i thought they did a really good job of charting the eyes i think eyes can be really tricky especially when you know it's a I'm going to say this is a smaller painting. It's not a smaller painting, but of course, the bigger you go, the more detail you can get. So the more you shrink it down, the harder it is to, to do those realistic details. And eyes are one of those. So yeah, super excited to do this one and see what it looks like completed. And like I said, I've seen this at a couple of other places, but yeah, excited to, to see how this one turns out. Love Alphonse Mucha, love the Art Nouveau style. I'm always interested in Zodiac stuff. So yeah, this was all just a kind of a win-win for me. Okay, so now we've seen the canvas. I'm going to move back into my regular filming setup and we'll look at all the fancy drills. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay guys, back in my regular setup here and I've just kind of laid her out so we can look at her pretty face as a background while we look at all of our fancy drills. So let me just go through and make sure that I shared everything that I was needing to. Licensed kit, obviously this one's public domain, but her other kits are all licensed. Uh, poured glue, the soft lint canvas, um, ABs, and again, she let me know that her new arrivals by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, this one, and she has another one by Muka called Moon, are all the new uh, resin drills. The rest of them are all acrylic, but I did the the um, one from her that I did before, the Muka called Summer. It, it was acrylic drills and they were great. I didn't have any problem with them. I thought they were really good quality and um, nice and sparkly. So um, let's see what else. Oh, she did mention that there was no plastic sleeve on this one because the manufacturers forgot to add tweezers in the toolkit, so they had to open them back up to, to add those in there. Me, honestly, I'm okay with, I would have been okay with no tweezers. I don't use, guys, if you can place drills with tweezers, good for you. I cannot. I don't know if I squeeze too hard, but all I end up doing is just, if I can manage to pick one up in the first place, it's, they're just everywhere. They never go where I want them to. So pins only for me, but I know, uh, I want to say there's at least one company out there that lets you pick whether or not you want a toolkit. And personally for me, I wish more companies had that option because honestly, I just end up either junking these or giving them away to people because I just don't use the toolkits. I have enough of my own kind of personalized, not personalized, but you know, stuff that I've bought that trays, pens, wax, all tips, all that kind of stuff. So I very rarely use any of the stuff in a toolkit anyway, and you save all that plastic. So that would be something nice. Okay. 
Now, let's get into this huge sleeve of drills, shall we? Everything already comes in baggies, so if you're someone who likes to work from baggies, you're all set. You just dump out your drills and go. I, unfortunately, am not. And I'm going to assume, given the number of bags here, that several of these are bags of the same color because... There seems like way more than 50 in here, but I could be wrong. Okay, let me get them out of here and out of the way. Okay. All right, I'm just going to grab and go, but I am going to save the ABs for later. Okay. So we've got this pretty peach color. Let me see. <laughs> let me see how many bags of this color we have. Some of these peach colors, oh my goodness. Yeah, obviously, skin, background. Okay, so we've got three bags of this peach. I'm trying to look through and see if I've got any other peach ones. Okay, so three bags of this very light peach. And then we've got two bags of this peach color, which is a little bit darker than this first one. So there's those, and then there are Ooh, five bags of this kind of darker peach color. So you get three different shades of peach here. That's gonna look really good, I bet, when I'm doing the rendering of her skin. Okay, so there's those. Now let me see, do I have multiple bags of anything else? Let's see, how many bags of 310 have I got? Searching through here. Okay, that's all of them. One, two, three, four bags of 310, which I'm gonna assume is for a lot of the framing and stuff and some of the outlining in this section with the flowers and things. So four bags of 310. And then I've got two bags of this lovely orange. And then there's lots of oranges in here too. Let me see. So we've got this 922 orange, then we've got 722 orange, which is just slightly lighter. Then we've got this even lighter orange in 402. Then we've got, this one's a little bit brighter in this color. So all these kind of shades of orange. And then we've got some darker oranges here. We've got the 720 kind of dark orange, and then we've got like a bright orange. So those colors. And then we've got like a dark hunter green, like an, uh, just a regular green. And then we've got like an olive green. There's another kind of like true green and then a very bright green, bright light green. So all those shades of green. Then we've got, let's see what's in here. Got a couple more, let's see, those are not the same. So this one is a little bit darker than this peachy color. So we've got that. We've got a dark gray, kind of a slate gray. We've got, oh, there's a green that I missed, kind of a sage green. And then we've got some reds, like a berry red and then like a watermelon red, kind of that bright bubblegum pink. We've got just a regular red. This one is more of like a coral. So all of those, then let's see, oh, there's a very dark hunter green that I missed and there's a drill trying to escape. Let me fix that. Okay, and then we've got just like a regular brown. We've got a dark brown. Ooh, we've got like a very dark turquoise. What else have we got? Oh, here's another dark gray. Here's kind of a caramel color. And then 
a slightly lighter shade of caramel. So both of those. And then we've got two bags of this brown. And then a bag of a lighter brown. So this is more like a mocha color. This is kind of a, like a dark tan almost. And then what do we have left? We've got some reds. We've got this dark red. We've got this red. We've got this kind of dusky pink. We've got this very dark red. And then we've got, this is kind of a brownish umber color. And then we've got another brown and kind of a greenish brown. It's almost like that kind of army green color. And then we've got that slightly, same color, slightly lighter. And almost done. So here's like a kind of an orangish tan, then a very true peach, and then like a little bit of a, a burnt orange, a light burnt orange. And then after all of that, we've got our ABs. So we get some white ABs, nice and sparkly. Those are pretty. Some gray ABs. This is the same color of ABs I put in my koala from Craftably, although those were round and not square. Look at those pretty pink ABs. Some turquoise ABs. Some green ABs. These remind me of the ones that I used in Diana. Again, she's round and not square, but the same kind of greenish. I don't know, right now it makes me think of Christmas trees, but also peacock feathers I think is where that one got used and then this very pretty red AB Christmas red my 666 my favorite color so yeah I love how the ABs of this one almost kind of have like a purplish tinge with the coating purplish pink so yeah so there's all the drills you guys after looking at all these drills wow super excited to get started on this one just so many details I'm just looking now and going, oh yeah, the little kind of filigree pieces, repeating pattern here in the, the piece that's behind her head that's down here. Again, her really ornate head piece right here. Can't wait to see what that turns out like. Yeah, just really excited for this one. Again, it's big. 70 by 93 is big, not going to lie. Um, and obviously, this close to the end of the year, not something that I'll be doing until next year, obviously. But... Yeah, super happy with this one. I was really impressed with the quality of the one that I did before, and that was with the acrylic drill. So I can't wait to see how sparkly and shiny the new resin ones are. So yeah, you guys, if you haven't checked it out, I would go check out her shop. Um, like I said, I, I really liked the quality of the uh, Mooka that I did before. And she has, I think, the whole series. I did Summer. But there's a spring, autumn, and winter as well. I think she has all of those. She's got this Mooka now. Um, and she does have some other artists. But yeah, go check her out. I will, as usual, put a link in the description box down below so that you guys can go check out what she's got available. Shopping right now is kind of a crapshoot. I don't know who's got what available. Everybody's kind of, and shipping is crazy, of course. But if you see something you like, maybe you'll get, you know, some Christmas diamond painting money. That's always nice. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> some, some, some diamond painting shopping money at Christmas. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys. Thanks so much for watching.